I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, on this wonderful and beautiful Thursday that our Lord God, the maker and the creator of heaven and earth, has made for us to be uh, to, to, to share the word of God once more and to rejoice and to be glad living life in his presence and in his spirit. Uh, uh, I thank you for listening or for joining me again today. I would like us to pray before we read the word of God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you thanking you, Heavenly Father, for your awesomeness. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, for being the God that is in charge and who is in control of our lives. Father, we thank you, knowing, Oguti, you are with us every step of the way and every time in our lives. As we are about to share your word today, I pray, Father God, you go to let the power of the Holy Spirit be the one that is going to work so that the glory may come back to you lord that you may continue speaking in our lives even after i have kept quiet lord in the mighty name of jesus christ amen amen uh, the past few days the message that the lord has laid in my spirit is a spiritual growth and one of the elements of our growth spiritually is faith and if faith bazalwane it is one of the fruits of the spirit and also one of the gifts of the spirit so we need faith for us to be able to make a progress and yet and the definition of faith in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 it says it is the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen and then the book of romans chapter 10 it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god a lot of times when people quote the scripture they like saying hearing the word of god it doesn't say that it says hearing by the word of god so you need to, to, to hear the word of God that is given to us by God. We need to understand the word of God. Uguti, the word of God is Jesus because the word of God in the book of John or chapter one, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and God was the word. So this is Jesus who is the word of God who God incarnated to to, to become umundu or the word of God that God incarnated to become life. So for our spiritual growth, we need to have a relationship with Jesus. We cannot be able to grow in the spirit in isolation. Our growth spiritually comes from the relationship with God the Father, God the Son, and God the, the, the Spirit. And this happens if we are connected. We did say last week, Guti, this happens when we abide in God and His way abide in us uh, meaning abiding in Jesus and then we then see the Spirit of God whom we said it he is the power of God that brings things into manifestation so if faith is very key or essential in our spiritual growth because even our our journey to salvation begins with the first step e faith for us to be able to begin this journey of salvation we needed faith Uguti, faith to believe in the word of God when it is preached. Uguti, Sigwazi, Uguba, saved. And to be able to walk this journey and to enter into the kingdom of God. So the first step that is required in our lives to be able to, 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 to be saved or to begin the journey of spirituality in Christ, faith is essential. You needed faith 
when the word of God was preached to you as a sinner umoya kankulunkulu the holy spirit did umsebens of which that work that the holy spirit did was to convict you of the the sin that was in your life and then you then accepted jesus christ as the lord and the savior of your life so it was the power of the holy spirit that made us to begin this journey of salvation and the same power gankulunkulu is the one that we need to grow spiritually because when you are a sinner he convicts you of the sin in your life and he makes you uguti upagami say sandra sako when you get the conviction uzo guti god or the word of god is directly speaking to me right now then bese you repent you repent from your sins but then when you are a child of god for you to grow you need the holy spirit that the holy spirit uzo kwenza ukuthi ube conscious about uh, or conscious to sin and also cautious ukuba cautious ukwenza ukuthi uqaphele ukwenza ukuthi ube vigilant ukwenza ukuthi ube alert so that you can avoid a sin in your life and while i was praying in preparation ukuthi uh, of how am i going to present or how is the holy spirit going to help me to present in daba your faith in our lives as a, a, a key element to spiritual growth he took me to the book of zechariah chapter 4 which reads uh, from we will be reading basalwane from verse 1 to 14 of Zechariah. I want to link these two to uh, this the topic that we are talking about a faith which reads as follows. Uh, Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 1. I'll, I'll I'll keep on mentioning but I think we'll read it up to verse um verse uh, 14. I'll quickly read it. That reads as follows. Now the angel who talked with me came back and wakened me as a man who is wakened out of his sleep. And he said to me, what do you see? I said, I, I am looking and there is a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl of top of it and on the stand seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps two olive trees are by it one at the right of the bowl and the other at its left so i answered and spoke to the angel who talked to me saying what are these my lord then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me do you not know what these are and I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone with a shout of grace, grace to it. Whoever, moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. For who has despised the day of small things? For the seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. They are the eyes of the Lord which scan to and from throughout the whole, the whole earth. Then I answered and said to him, What are these two olive trees at the right and of the lampstand and at its left? And I further answered and said to him, Into the, the receptacles of the two gold pipes from which the golden oil drains. Then he answered me and said, Do not... Do you not know that these what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he said, There are the two anointed ones who stand beside the Lord 
of the whole earth so this is what has been laid in my spirit or the word that came to my spirit this is Zerubbabel and uh, he sees a vision and uh, in his vision there are seven lambs which are standing on the, the gold stand and uh, um, uh, he says he was sleeping and there was an angel who shook him and awakened him like someone that is waking him from his sleep and asked him what do you see so and when I started I said if faith it is the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen so if anyone would have walked into the room where Zerubbabel was and had these conversations Uguti he says he's seeing things you know with faith people will think you are crazy because you see things that are not there and you become so confident about those things that you have seen you know when we we we, we, we read this word we see uguti umoya gankulunkulu was showing uzerubabel um, the power of the holy spirit through the ministries because if you can remember when we read the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 and 2 it say it speaks about the stem of Jesse whom the spirit of the Lord will be upon him and Uzekariah here is talking about lamb stand uh, the seven lambs the, 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 the seven lambs on the gold um, lamb stand and Ngale Isaiah prophesied about Jesus even before Jesus was born and Uti uh, he is the stem Yaga Jesse and the uyam describer about the seven spirits and then again John Apostle John in the book of Revelation chapter 1 he says I, 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 I saw Uti, Uti, then I, saw, I, I he, he saw a vision and he heard a voice. And remember, at that time, U Apostle John, he, 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 didn't, he had lost his sight, but he was able to see. Then the word of God says, then he says, then I looked back to see the voice. He doesn't say to see the person or to see the owner of the voice. You know, when you are growing in faith, you become able to see things that are not seen by anyone. I, I tend to see. You know, when you have, you, you are growing spiritually, you become able to see things that nobody is seeing. And once you have seen those things, no one can, 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 can speak you out of the things that you have seen because uh, you start seeing things you start living in another dimension you live in the fourth dimension you move out from the triune being when you grow uh, when you grow spiritually you, you you move out from the physical you, you 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 begin to move to the next level that nobody can understand the, I, 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 I accept you because you are the one that sees and hears the things that God says sometimes you you, you will not be able to 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 see the right things if you do not not read the word of God when because you will not understand what God is saying to you or for your faith to grow because it doesn't just happen unless you hear the word of God and the word of God you hear it when you read it on your own you hear it when somebody preaches you hear it even maybe through song of a song that is inspired by the Holy Spirit 
the song that is aligned to the word of God, then you hear the word of God and it, it, it increases your faith. This also applies in your own life. The things that you have seen, it doesn't matter, Uguti, right now, they haven't manifested those things. Or right now, while we are in this period, things are, 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 are delayed. But let me just tell you this is a journey and in this journey you are not alone but with God and you know when you are with God you are not supposed to fear anything because you know that he is with you and these mountain that uh, who are you, O oh mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain. So if you have faith, Zerubbabel, whoever your name is, if you have faith, whatever mountain that you are seeing right now, it shall be made a plain. Keep on holding on and trusting the word of God and keep on telling him in prayer. Uguti, Lord, right now I do not know what is happening. I do not understand what shall happen tomorrow. But because you said in your word, your spirit shall tell me of things that are yet to come. May I, I yield to your spirit. Allow your spirit to tell me the things. You are the one that needs to yield after praying to God. And Uzerbabel. Uh, the way that the spirit of God uh, is revealed to him, it just reminds me, these, these lambs that are on the lampstand, they remind me of the ministries of the Holy Spirit that Unkulunkulu am asaine to do, to help us as his children. And the word of God says, he is the spirit of the Lord. He is the spirit of the fear of God. He is the spirit of wisdom. He is the spirit of might. He is the spirit of counsel. He is the spirit of knowledge. He is the spirit of understanding. So there are things that you may not understand, but as Uze, uh, 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 God is showing that, that him to Uzerubabel, as he also showed him to, to, to uh, Apostle John in the book of Revelation, he is that for you to grow spiritually, you need all the ministries to help you. Okay, so whenever you get uh, confused, he is there to counsel you. Whenever you feel like you are losing courage or strength, he is there as the spirit of might to give you the power. Wherever that you are feeling confused, he is there as the spirit of understanding to give you a understanding. Wherever you do not know what to do, he is there as the spirit of wisdom. Ask wisdom from him and he shall give you. That is part of your growth and your journey. Even, even right now when things seem like they are taking longer than you had envisaged or than you had imagined remember he is with you every step of the way and there is nothing that is taking him by surprise he knows everything because he is the spirit of knowledge ask him develop this relationship with him and be completely dependent completely surrender and he will help you because when una, una moments where you do not understand even though things may may not be going the way that you had planned or but remember Oguti, this is a journey and when you are journeying there are detours in the lane 
and uh, you must remember Uguti, a detour doesn't mean the end of the journey it just makes maybe the journey longer the, 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 to, the detour it doesn't mean the cancellation of the journey yes you may go the longer route but pambili siaya and uh, you know what i like it i i feel like it is speaking to us as a church right now Uguti, la payana in in verse 14 Zerubbabel, one these two, two, two trees, and then we are what are what are they? And then the angel explains, Uguti, they are the two anointed ones who stand beside the Lord and the whole earth. And we know, as children of God, Unkulunkulu has assigned us the church is one of the anointed and when i think here yeah, when i see uzeru babel was a governor so the church together with the governor are the ones that are responsible to making sure Uguti, the things that god wants to be done gets done on earth as in intando gankulunkulu the church is there to pray as part of your growth you need to pray for the governors some of the things we as the church are not able to do them but they they are a responsibility of the governors or our earthly government but as a child of god in your spiritual life you have a role you have a responsibility to pray for them so that they get effected so that uh, they get implemented so that they get wisdom so that nati sigwanzi ogupila peaceably so these are, are the things that are essential in our growth we need to have a faith it is so important you know this part verse 7 when it's when it says who are you O great mountain before Zerubbabel the, the the great mountain it is nothing when you have the spirit of God in you because even in the, the New Testament it says uh, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can even be able to say to a mountain move and the mountain shall move so it is important as a child of god to see and then after you have seen to believe you know there is an old saying that says seeing is believing and then once you believe you can then achieve in whatever things this does not only speak about earthly things Uguti, even those earthly things or earthly desires that you have or that you have seen the vision that you have seen with the concerning or regarding the earthly things they are possible if you believe and you will be able to achieve them but remember this you do not achieve them with your own might with your own strength with your own uh, wisdom you need or with your own intelligence you need the wisdom of god because he says or for you to be able to continue building the temple that i had showed you because if we remember in the book of Ezra, Unkulunkulu said to Uzerubabel, I started a measuring tape to go and measure. He started measuring, but he Guabanama delays, he couldn't complete it. But then I think he was feeling discouraged. Then the word of God comes to him and he shows him. And when he sees, God then tells him, You will complete with the it is your hands that started doing this. You will be able to complete. But remember this for you to complete what you had started and got uh, delayed or got um, distracted from you will not be able to do it with your own might the word of god it says not by might 
not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. So it is important to have this intimacy and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And then the things, as is Kashan, as are my distractions, as is Bonayo, they are temporary. Focus on the things that are unseen. That's what the word of God says. Uguti. Then faith is not faith if Uguguti, it is uh, dependent on things that are, are seen or even e hope it's not hope when you are saying you have hope because who's born isn't it a definition when we began it is the substance you know a substance is something that is tangible it's something a, a, a bringer to the presence so if faith it makes uh, it isn't as it is in a tangible to be tangible and it the confidence of the things that you hope for so for you to be able to walk and to travel this journey that god has called you to do in all the aspects and the facets of your life you need faith without faith you cannot please god without faith you cannot achieve anything without faith you cannot even begin to do anything and if faith that is not accompanied by works it is dead after having faith then put action action the things so that the things that you saw in this unseen realm or in this uh, uh, um, spiritual realm can come into the physical. So after seeing, after believing, then you need to take action and then you will see the evidence of the things that you hope for. I thank you. I hope this was worthwhile and was not a waste of your time, our time, God's time. Uh, it, it was worthwhile. Nyabonga. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much, my God, for this time that we have spent right now hearing and listening to your word. Let it grow in our lives so that, Lord Jesus, we can be able to action it and then the power of the Holy Spirit can unction it and bring it into the physical and into possession the things that we have had continue being with us in the mighty name of jesus amen